Hi everyone and welcome back to C++ Crash Course and in this episode we're going to talk uh, about functions in C++ and specifically we'll talk about you know why we use functions or why functions exist and then we'll talk about both uh, uh, predefined functions, functions that are available for us uh, that are built in to the C++ core and then we'll talk about the user-defined functions that you know they'll fit our specific needs. So we'll open up our example as always. Uh, and this time it will be functions.cpp or let's see what it is. What is it? Yep, functions.cpp. Oh, functions. Oops. There we go. So in this case, let's zoom out just a tad. So what are we trying to do here? So this program shows up built in and uses to find functions to print the size of different data types and return different values. So this would be by Nick from coffee before arch. There. And so we're still going to be using the standard namespace for this. Now, the goal of this is to print out the size of characters, uh, integers, floats, and doubles. Now, it doesn't really matter what value that we assign these things. The size of these variables depends only on the data type. Now, later on, we'll see that we can define our own data types. But for now, we'll just stick to some of the common built-in data types. So for a character, we'll just assign it A. For an integer, we'll assign it 4,362 and we'll for float uh, for floating point and double precision floating point we'll uh, we'll just assign some you know some you know pretty much random just decimal numbers now it's important to know that double precision is a lot larger than uh, single precision and the fact that they are pretty close in size right here um, it doesn't really matter uh, because we're really talking about the size of the data type, not the size of this right here. This will always be the size of the data type. Uh, it'll always be recept uh, represented in the same amount of memory as the data type that is. So let's think about printing the size out. So there's a nice function in C++ called size of. Now size of, you pass it a variable or a data type so you can either pass it directly int or you could pass it uh, something like character this variable we defined up here and what it will return is the size of that data type or the data type associated with that variable in bytes so characters in C++ are one byte integers four floating point four and double precision floating point are eight but if you were to write that over and over and over again, so say we need to print out the size of many floating point numbers. If we had to write out, you know, some big long string of C out less than less than some string less than less than some value less than less than some string. And we had to do that 20 times 30 times. You know, it get pretty tiresome and don't, we don't really want to do that. So what we can do is write our own function. So like the size of function that's built into C++ that will give us the size of that data type, we can write our own function that prints out, uh, that has a, we can have a predefined string in there and print out a value, or we could print out, you know, how big these things are as well as the value. So in this case, that's exactly what we do. So we define a print char, a print character, a print int, a print float and a print double. So let's look at those definitions. So what are we doing here and these function definitions? So it's a lot like the main function definition, except we give it our own name. In this case, it can be whatever we want, but it makes sense to give it a name that describes what it does. So this one prints a character, so we call it print char. On the inside of these parens, we say what variable type, we're variable type we're passing in. In this case, it's a character, and we'll just call it C. We can give it any name here. It's just how we want to refer to this, uh, this variable that we're passing in. Now, it doesn't have to be the same thing as we pass it in main. It can be whatever we want. 
So what do we do within this function? So we print out char value, and then we print out the value, and then we print out the size. So char size is, and then we use this built-in function size of. And then let's talk about return types. So just like main has a return type of int that we don't really use, right? at least right now, uh, we can define our own return types or specify what they are. So in this case, we're going to return something of the char type or the character type. So in this case, we just hard set it to be, say, a capital A. Or in the case of an integer down here for print int, we return one, two, three, four. For a float, another decimal number, and same thing for a double. And it's just important to know that we can use these to assign, uh, we use these typically for assignments. So in this case, we override or overwrite these initializations with the values coming from our functions. So while character was a right here, or a lowercase a, we set character equal to the return from the function print char that we pass character. And so what it should do is it should assign character that capital A that we saw up here as the return. And then integer will do the same thing. We pass it the integer that we defined right here and initialized right here. And we should get back, I believe in this case for integer, it's, yeah, it's one, two, three, four. And then these random decimals for float and double. So that's all we're going to be doing here. We're going to first, uh, we'll get all the prints from the function calls. So what happens is we'll call print char the execution will jump to the function, execute the function, and then return to the same place in code. And so whatever the return value is, will go into character, and then we'll start execution again at the next line. So in this case, it would be the call to print int. So let's go ahead and compile this. Again, let's go ahead and zoom in. We'll use G++ as always, so dash O for our output file. That will be functions, and then we'll pass in functions.cpp. No errors. Then we'll run functions. So the values that we passed in, so these are all printed from our defined print functions. So char value A char size is one, so a character is one byte. That's from that built-in size of function. We are passing int value, the size of an integer in bytes, four bytes, so 32 bits. Byte is going to be eight bits. Size of a float is again, four bytes or 32 bits. And then we look down here, we see that when we print out these variables again, uh, that we assigned the return value from these functions, that's what we get. So instead of being A up here, we get a capital A. Instead of being an integer uh, of 4,000 something up here, 4,362, our return value was 1234. Now it's important to know that we don't have to have a return type for a function. A uh, function can have a B of type void, and we'll talk about that in the next video. And uh, we can just leave the variables inside the main function exactly how they are. Uh, but that's going to do it as far as our example for you know, these functions right here. In the next video, we're going to talk about this concept of overloading function names. Um, like always, we can go to the GitHub page. So let's go ahead and go to github.com and we'll go to Coffee Before Arch. And it looks like it's taking a little bit, a uh, little while, but on the GitHub page, we'll have all of our code examples used in all of these videos. So this is going to be C++ Crash Course. And in this readme on this front page of the repo, we'll have, you know, if you have any specific content that you would like, you can send it to my email. There's a Google Sheets of all the other series that I'm doing my current environment that I'm working in. 
and then of course links to the videos the concepts that are covered in those videos and then the examples so we talked about functions this time so we'll go to the functions.cpp and this is the file that we worked with so feel free to uh, download this file and you know, play around with it and if you have any questions feel free to message me I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch and I hope you have a nice day